Hello Exiles! The last 24 hours has been buzzing PoE2 community, all thanks to announcement from Jonathan Rogers, game director of Pad of Exile 2. It's official, the early access launch has been delayed by three weeks. Hi, I'm Jonathan Rogers, game director on Path of Exile 2. Unfortunately, I have some really bad news. We have to delay early access for three weeks. The new date is the 6th of December. Delays can be a bit frustrating, especially for a game as hyped as PoE2, but Jonathan and the team at Green and Gear Games have a solid reason for the extra wait. Their plan is to make sure all our items and purchases from PoE1 carry over seamlessly to PoE2, and to pull that off smoothly they need a few more weeks. So what happened? Well, it turns out it isn't really the game itself that we're behind on. It's a bunch of server-side infrastructure work that has taken us a lot longer than we expected. Now, one of the key promises we made is that all your microtransactions will work across both PoE 1 and 2. In order to do that, we have to integrate the account systems for not only PoE 1 and 2, but also for the console realms as well. This meant changing a lot of things. Not only do we have to create a bunch of new systems, we have to make sure that all the old data is backwards compatible with them as well. And when you start migrating databases that are this old and with this much data, you find all sorts of strange demons in there. How do multiple accounts get the same name? How do multiple accounts get the same email address? How do multiple accounts have the same Steam IDs? Why is this person's account name just random gibberish that doesn't even decode? We have to get everything perfect so that nobody loses anything they paid for and nobody has their account broken. At the same time, because we're changing all this backend code, we have to do a lot of load testing to make sure the whole thing doesn't fall over when they get the huge number of players that we're expecting at launch. I actually believe that we could possibly have made the original launch date, but I'm no longer confident we could do it without making mistakes. And these are the kind of mistakes that we just can't let happen. So with that in mind, we've decided to delay. Now this one's totally on me. I just didn't leave enough time to make sure we could get it done. And I'm really sorry. This one really hurts. The great news? We are still on track to dive into Pet of Exile 2 before the year ends. Plus, all our accounts, inventory and my transactions from POE1 are going to trans over. Honestly, I think they are being smart, learning from past games that rushed and faced major issues at launch. If we need a few extra weeks to make everything flawless, it's worth it, but let's hope we don't get another delay. And hey, despite the setback, I really appreciate John's transparency and responsibility here. Triple G truly respect your investment. I know many of you might be disappointed with the delay to December 6th, but I actually prefer it this way. Plus, they are showing real appreciation for all the players who have supported them over the years. I love it how transparent, upfront and responsible they have been, with a sincere apologize to the community. As someone who plays Diablo since Diablo 1, Triple G has really earned my respect and won my loyalty. Oh, and there's something to look forward to. They are planning a huge live stream in about 4 weeks. Now we're going to be having a live stream talking about all the content you can expect in poe 2's early access in about 4 weeks. You can think of it like the biggest league announcement we've ever done. I'm really looking forward to telling you guys about the in-game content that the team will be working hard on. Until then, thank you very much for your support. So until then, we wait. But the hype is real. Thanks for watching Exilus and catch you in the next video. Now, are you ready to fulfill your destiny?